tonight on Be Something Wonderful, how to have faith that it's already yours, the Neville got it way. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from a subscriber today that said, Tom, I'm really struggling with, with having faith that it's already done. I can imagine my wish fulfilled. I feel the vivid reality of it, all that. My, and I, it's when I wake up in the morning and I go about my day, I have trouble holding the faith or maintaining the faith that it's already mine. Can you unpack that a little bit more? Well, tonight, guys, we're going to unpack that and more. So in scripture, Jesus talks about faith in the kingdom of God, comparing it to a mustard seed. And he does this five times, right? Twice when he's talking to his disciples, once in Luke and then once in Matthew, talking to his disciples, and then three other times in talking about the same parable, the parable of a mustard seed. What's up? Why is a mustard seed so significant in this case in scripture? Well, a mustard seed back then represented a very small seed. It was one of the smallest seeds, but it would grow into one of the biggest plants or one of the biggest trees. Hear this, a very small seed growing into one of the biggest plants or one of the biggest trees. And this is why Jesus used it. So let's unpack it a little bit more. Well, the first one is in Luke, where his disciples come to him and say, Lord, increase our faith. And then Jesus says this, if you had faith like a mustard seed, you would say to that mulberry tree, uproot yourself, plant yourself in the sea, and it would obey you. This is what Jesus says in Luke when his disciples say, increase our faith. And then in Matthew, again, his disciples approach him, and he says, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, now he's talking about the size of a mustard seed, right? Uh, you would say to that mountain, move, and it would move, and nothing would be impossible to you. Hear this. Twice here he's talking to his disciples and talking about, again, pointing to the, the, the size of a mustard seed or the faith of a mustard seed. And then in the parables, in all three parables, it's talking about that the mustard seed, Jesus is talking about the, comparing the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed that's planted in a garden. And, and he's saying it's the smaller of all seeds, but it becomes a tree or a big plant, bigger than all the other plants, bigger than all the other trees, right? A smaller than all the seeds in all three parables. What's Jesus getting at here? Well, most take that to be, if I just have a little amount of faith, if I just have a little bit, then, then that mountain will move for me, right? And even Neville points to this in his teachings. But that's not really what Jesus is talking about. And Neville points this out. It's not talking about having a little bit of faith. It's talking, hear this, this is big. It's talking about having absolute faith. Why? A mustard seed is conscious of being a mustard seed and only a mustard seed. A mustard seed only grows into a mustard plant or a mustard tree. It, it's conscious of only being that. It's absolute faith that when you plant that seed, it will grow into a mustard tree, not an orange tree, not an apple tree, not a pear tree. Hear this. This is big. So this is what Neville says. A mustard seed is conscious of being a mustard seed and a mustard seed alone and only a mustard seed. This is absolute faith. This is not a little bit of faith. Like, okay, I'll have a little bit of faith in this imaginal act and, and, then, and then hope that, it, that I'll get my desire. It's absolute faith. Absolute faith in that kingdom of God within you, right? And even where he can, where, and, and you might say, well, um, he was, he was, Jesus was comparing the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed. Right. So the kingdom of heaven is not something that's small, like a mustard seed. It's not something that's small and that grows into something big. It's an absolute, the kingdom of heaven is absolute and it expands and grows when you become aware of it within yourself. Hear this. The kingdom of heaven never changes, but it grows within you. Your awareness grows. That conscious of being who you want to be grows as you become aware of it. This is big, right? And then Neville says, 
problems of the mountain spoken of that can be removed if one has the faith of a grain of a mustard seed. Again, not a small amount of faith, but the faith, that absolute faith of a mustard seed, that, that it's only a mustard seed. And then Neville even talks about this story about this lady. He says this lady goes to church on Sunday. The priest uh, quotes scripture that if you just have the faith of the size of a mustard seed, you will say mountain move and it will move. So she goes home, goes to a window, looks at the mountain, prays, goes to bed in some faith that the mountain will move, gets up in the morning, runs to the window and says, I knew that mountain would move. Well, that's how we live. We knew that you, you're living like you know that your desire is not gonna be yours. You have a little bit of faith. You gotta have the absolute faith. Why? Because when you run to that window next time, you won't see the mountain. You won't perceive it. You will only perceive what you're conscious of being. You'll only perceive the desire or that state of consciousness which you want to claim and assume that is yours. This is big, right? Faith is feeling or living in the consciousness of being only the thing you desire. That's what a mustard seed is. A mustard seed is only conscious of being a mustard seed. And so you've got to have the faith of a mustard seed. What is that? Not a little faith, the absolute faith that, that you are conscious of being that which you want to be, that you are conscious of already having that which you desire. So when you run to that window next time, you won't see the mountain, you'll see your desire. That's what we're talking about here. That's what scripture's talking about. That's what Jesus is talking about. Mustard seed is absolute faith. Five times in scripture, Jesus uses it. Why? Not because it's small and it grows into something large. It's absolute. And, it, and, it grow, and the kingdom grows as you become more aware of it. As you, as you rise in that consciousness, that, that awareness of being grows within you and expands into a mustard tree or a mustard plant. That, that awareness of being grows, with you, grows within you and it expands infinitely and internally. That's what we're talking about here. That is how to have faith that it's already yours, the Neville got it way. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button um, so you never miss a video. Like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.